Why is it that when niggas is out cheating, we don't call them? We let y'all cheat. That us. I'm going to cry later. But when I'm cheating, you want to call me, you want to meet up. No, suck my dick. Let me cheat. Don't don't cut block. Don't cut block. Don't be cut blocking. Let me cheat and then be mad. You didn't even let me cheat, so why you mad? I didn't even kiss a nigga yet. Because you beasting. You beasting. And some of y'all dudes wonder why your girl is cheating on you, why she's not responding to your text messages, why she got somebody saved in her phone as pizza, man. Because y'all be chilling and dealing with girls just like this, man. What's going on? It's your boy Webb back again with another video. And today we're going to take a look at just these girls, man. They're getting caught in the wild and we have to expose them. Just like the same with these dudes. But hey, at the end of the day, these girls, because as far as I'm concerned now, some of you get you know you may get triggered me saying this but a lot of girls out here live that privileged life compared to the male experience the the you know the man experience out here but before we even get into it man make sure if you're new subscribe to the damn channel man we're on the road to a thousand subscribers the goal is to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of november 1k by turkey day so make sure you subscribe to the channel and also share the video other than that let's just hop into this video man you guys dating you guys a couple yeah yes yeah how long you guys been together for a year and some change. Yeah, some change. All right, so you guys trust each other? You guys keep it 100? Yeah. Yeah, all right, so what if I said switch phones right now for 30 seconds? Y'all do it? Yeah. All right, do it. Well, my phone, I'm going to play with my go phone. Get that yeah, go get your phone. I go on a text. What's your name? Lodge. A Lodge? Lodge. Lodge? Mm -hmm. So who's Jacob? Yeah, who the fuck is Jacob? I like how she just starts laughing like if something's funny, man. You you better believe it. That was me. First of all, I don't have these type of problems. You have to understand this, man. When I'm out here, I, I tell you, I, I tell you guys all the time, as far as, you know, for the fellas are concerned, when you're out here, when you're trying to, if you're, you know, looking to date or if you're trying to have a little friend or whatever the case may be, the biggest thing is to make sure that you're the one that's in control. Not only do, you know, for the most part, females like that, you know, the man taking charge, the man being in control, but also, so you're in the know. You have to be in the know when it comes to these type of situations because if, you know, shit goes south, then at least you'll be the one in the know first so you could be like all right she's either cheating on me or she's talking to some other dude she's giving more attention to some other dude more than me so I let me just get out of the picture let me go talk to somebody else let me go get into another situation as far as i'm concerned though when it comes to me i'm looking for somebody who i could build with that's what it comes to me i'm not promiscuous out here i ain't trying to deal with all these girls i ain't trying to put up with all the drama as far as i'm concerned i'm trying to find the one and at least if she's not the one, at least I'm vetting her to, you know, get that experience and maybe she would, maybe she will become the one, who knows. But as far as I'm concerned, I don't play these games with these girls, but if you ever know me, especially some of you ladies, if you ever knew me, you know I don't play these games. Like, I don't, you have all the freedom to do whatever you want to do, but I'm just going to let you know I do not play games out here. And neither should you fellas either. Don't play these games with these girls because if you play the games, you're going to win stupid prizes, they're going to be cheating on you yada yada everything man yeah, who's jacob <laughs> yo who the fuck is jacob bro relax nah nah we ain't doing that relax who's no relax who's that? Ain't no <laughs> I gotta be honest though, like I always, I always tell you guys this, man. I don't like goofy ass people, and for the most part, it's these goofy ass dudes out here, man. I'm not friends with these goofy ass people, and don't don't even get it twisted. Like I came across goofy ass people for sure, like on the daily basis, and they want to be my friend. They try to talk to me, and then as soon as they realize the type of energy, the type of flow that I'm on, they completely switch up and change to that little goofy personality because most goofy people you have to understand this most goofy goofy guys for that matter they really just try to fit in so the little funny guy the little goofy guy of the group he's just really trying to fit in so he's trying to fit in and he's trying to make everybody laugh and then when it comes to girls that's exactly the same thing that they do they try to get liked by as many girls or any girls that they can by being goofy by being funny and so when that when you take that into a relationship or when you take it into something that's more exclusive between uh, uh you know one person or whoever whatever the situation may be you have to understand they will use that against you you have to know that 
that's why I said it's very important that you get on your purpose because the faster that you understand who you are and what you're about and your purpose in life and you're hitting the gym and you have purpose now, like now, even if that's all it is, even all you're doing is going to a nine to five job and then going to the gym. Well, at least you have that. OK, I'm going to the gym and I'm making my money and that's it. So if this girl tries to play games with me, I don't got time. I got to go to the gym. I got to make my money before I have any time to even think about her trying to play these mental games or mind games with me. It's very important that you get on your purpose, man, because a lot of these goofy ass dudes out here, they're not even concerned with any of that. They just want the attention from a girl. They just want attention from people. They just want to fit in. And that's the most thing that I find. It's very funny, too. Now, you can also, you know, I'm not talking about the girl's situation but i'm just talking for us fellas because at least when it comes to us we have control over what we do so it's very very important very very crucial that you really understand who you are and what you want that way you don't end up in situations just like this because when you end up in situations just like this she laughing like if something funny as far as i'm concerned that's a signal right there that she's been talking to this dude for probably weeks if not months if not years on end and you just look like the fool man it's crazy out here it is what it is though you got to know who you are and what you're about that's what it comes down to at the end of the day yeah click down right there <laughs> Yeah. No. Here we go. All right, give me my phone. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> You're doing too much. Like, give me my phone. I love you so much. Give I asked John, I, you asked John for some money. Give me my phone. What you asked John for some money for? Give me my phone. What you needed money for? Give me my phone. What you needed money for? Give me my phone. But what you needed money for? Can I have my phone? What you needed money for? Can I have my phone? What you needed money for? You wasn't gonna give it. To oh boy, asking the wrong questions. Instead of what you need the money for, he needs to be saying who's John? Why are you texting John? Why do you say I love you to John? That's he's asking the wrong questions, man. I told you these goofy ass dudes, they just don't got it up here, man. That's what it comes down to. They don't got it all up here. They don't got that awareness. I don't know if this is fake or not. As far as I'm concerned, it's real. But, hey, these type of situations happy, happen every single day out there, man. I'm telling y'all, if y'all want to be safe and want to protect yourself from girls like this who are trying to play the field and talk to multiple dudes at once, now that depends on what you want. You know, it depends if you're trying to find a girl out here. It depends if you want to find a wife, if you're trying to build something with somebody. It depends. But at the end of the day, I'm never going to go through this as far as I'm concerned because I don't got time for it. Most of the time, like, girls already know what type of time I'm on. Don't even get me wrong. Like, like I said before, like, I ain't nobody special. I ain't doing anything special. But I just understand who I am. And so when I understand who I am and what I'm about and what I'm working for, I don't got time to be bullshitting and playing the little games. I told you time and time again in all these videos, it just gets straight to it. Either something's happening or something's not happening. There ain't no little warm up stage, nothing like that. Nah, because either you like who I am, the type of energy that I'm bringing to this little relationship, this little connection, this little bond, whatever you want to call it, or you don't. That's all it comes down to. And in this type of situation, man, I, I, like I'm a I'm a I'm a nice guy if you get to know me. But all I got to say is this. My girl would know better. That's all I'm going to say. She would know better than to try to play me like that, let alone us. OK, let's do a little video, whatever. Got caught off guard at Santa Monica, whatever. She would know better. Like she ain't going to have shit on her phone, even if she was trying to do the dirt behind my back. She wouldn't be that much of a fool. That's all I'm saying. But it is what it is. Homeboy learned his lesson after this now. Here. Take your time, bro. We got all day. Don't oh worry. Don't God. worry about it. Who Jeff? Are you serious right now? Who Jeff? Are you serious? Who's Jeff? Can I have my phone back, please? Who's who, who, show me who Jeff is? We have your phone back. <laughs> why? The fuck you mean why? Who the fuck is Jeff? Bro, give me my phone. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> He sent you ninety dollars. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> she gave money from everybody. Man, like I said, that's the goofy guy because uh, I'm telling you, like a real dude that that has self respect for himself, and knows who he is, what he's about. He doesn't have time for shit like that, man. As soon as the, he would have found out a long ass time ago that this girl's trying to get money from dudes, talking to other dudes, and this and that, yada yada. It is what it is. But as far as I'm concerned, this dude, it's a little goofy guy, man. 
because a real dude let's just say he had no idea no clue he's busy on his grind constantly grinding it out he's in the gym five six days a week he's constantly working five six you know days a week 10 hours 12 hours whatever and he has no idea that this girl his girl's talking to somebody else behind his back and this was the only moment that he found out a real dude would be like there's no questions about it like it doesn't matter you the fact that i put so much into this and i was loyal to you and i wanted you to be that one and now you betrayed me it's over right there you have to start again that's the thing about a lot of you dudes out here now don't get me wrong you can take back your ex you can do yada yada you can do whatever you want to do that's you because those are the failures and those are the little bridges that you're gonna have to rebuild and the connections and the trust that you're gonna have to rebuild with that person that's you I don't do shit like that because nah, there's too many potential. There's too much potential out here for me to try to go back to something I already. I gotta go for something new. You gotta go for something brand new. So I don't know. It is what it is. As far as I'm concerned, if that happened to me, saw those messages, I'm giving her a phone back and I'm just leaving her ass there. I'm going to the gym. I'm gonna work off that damn frustration. And then the next morning, hey, we back out. We single again. But it is what it is, man. Let me know what you guys thought about the video down below. Make sure if you're new, subscribe to the damn channel, man. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. The goal is to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of November. So make sure you share the video and also subscribe to the damn channel, man. Also, if you want me to react, comment, give some type of advice, hit me up at the Don West Speaks at gmail.com. That's where you can find me. Other than that, man, this goes for guys and for girls. Just don't get played out here. Understand who you are, what you're about, and what you want, and you'll be fine. Life is a piece of life is a piece of cake at the end of the day man it's been your boy web man peace